<laughs> okay, guys. Well, whoever is listening. I mean, there's one particular person. But nevertheless, here I am. I'm walking out here on the street. It's probably at dusk. Dust or dusk? Anyway, I was walking and I was singing and I got to thinking, well, maybe I'll just sing a song. I sang it really good when I wasn't trying, but see, that's the problem. When you try, <laughs> my voice is everywhere. Anyway, it's one that everybody knows. You are my sunshine. I don't know if I can do it now that I'm trying. I used to sing all the time. When I'm happy, I sing. When you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> anyway, I'll be saying, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. The other night, dear, as I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms when i awoke dear i was mistaken and i hung my head and i cried i'm sure there's a lot of us that feel that way you know The future is coming and I'm excited about it and really I should say no matter what happens I'm still excited about life something's happened to me I'm feeling happy <laughs> So if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, sing a song. I gotta get out of the road. I'm walking in the middle of the road. I heard somebody coming. Don't wanna get run over. <laughs> but what I do is I walk up and down the street that's right in front of mom and dad's house. Cause I gotta get some exercise. You cannot sit on your butt and expect to retain your muscles. And so everybody out there listening, you guys pay attention. Get up off your butt. Walk around. Even if you're young, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Same thing goes with your mind. If you don't use your mind, you guys need to feed your mind something besides games. And if those games are kill, 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 you might want to change that. You know, how do you know what you're programming yourself to do? Of course, if you want to go out and be a starfighter or, you know, use guns and kill people, I guess it's good training for what's coming. The future is kind of bleak. If we don't change this world we live in, yeah, all hell's already broke loose. But it's on our streets. And it ain't going to get better unless we do something. Sweetness. Sweeten up the pot. And you people out there against pot, you need to cool it. You know, who the hell are you to tell everybody else they can't do it? And especially if you are partaking of other things, like, you know, if you drink too much, if you drink any, you take one drink, then who the hell are you to tell me I can't smoke pot? And yes, I know I can smoke pot because I'm in a state where it's legal. But you know what, I got friends all over this country and it ain't legal everywhere. And it is hell for those who just wanna partake of a happiness drug that God gave us that grows freely. 
And then who are these people telling us we can't? And throwing people in jail and strip searching people. I mean, all the things that have been done in the name of this stupid frickin' law over the years. I mean, those papers I wrote are from 40 years ago. That's how I felt 40 years ago. Hello, neighbors. <laughs> but I'll be talking to my phone and there's neighbors walking by. So I figured maybe I should say hi. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of things in this life that are not cool. And it just would be great if we could all get on board, you know? It's kind of like somebody who loves you so much and that gets mad at you so much that they don't talk to you. They don't have anything to do with you because, oh my God, you're doing something they don't appreciate or they don't. I mean, you know, we all have our own life to live. As long as you're not hurting somebody else, if you're not infringing on someone else's rights, let it be. Even the hard drugs, let it be. Who the hell are you, you people? The big pharma people. They are the drug dealers. And they are the ones having war all over the country. The other country. Countries because this fight is all over the continent. Now, is a continent? Okay, I discussed that before. I don't know what a continent is. Okay, all over the planet, okay? In every single area in the world, there is a problem because someone went and made it a problem, okay? Some people, some countries, their whole life was geared around this product that they had, okay? And the rest of the world wants it. But see, the drug people, the big pharma people say, uh, uh, no, 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 that's mine. I want the whole world. I want all the resources of the whole world. And then everybody else has got to pay. Uh, I won't say that. But you got to pay and pay and pay from now until doomsday, till you're dead. Because, you know, you know how I feel about the medical field. They really are pretty great if they would just not be so monopolizing. You know, everybody is so busy infringing on other people's rights. I wish everything could just be straightened out. And yeah, I can tell a lot of things that would improve this world, but I don't want to give up my whole life in that effort so this is the way i can do it this is the way i can put my thoughts out there like my book says thoughts flying in the wind hoping to be received and digested and put into your life your daily life love your neighbor don't be afraid to love god he's not a bad guy you know, my daughter just gave me an earful the other day about how bad God is. And I'm going, where are you coming from? You know, the thing is, people think that if there's a God, he wouldn't let all this stuff happen to us. Okay? But see, the plan was put forth in the beginning. And no one knows until they have lived through it. But they were given a semblance of what was to come. And they chose whether or not to come here. So every single person ever born on this planet chose to be here. Okay? Might not like that, but it's the truth. You chose to be here. And the whole point is, in the end, okay, here's another scenario. This life. There were other lives we could choose. There were other places we could go that we're not as hard as this place, okay? But in order to get to the highest, of the highest kingdom of glory, is where I wanna go, you had to come to this awful place, okay? You had to come here and you had to have your free agency and you had to be able to choose and struggle and learn, okay? Everybody's so caught up in all the crap that Satan's got going on out there lustful behavior like that word lasciviousness you guys look up that word i read it on one of my videos but 
I mean, God must have put it in my head because I didn't know that word. It just popped right on out there like, yeah, and it fit. Unrestrained sexual behavior. That's what we've got all over the world. Unless they are holding on to some honor because in God's church, you don't have sex like that. You don't, you chaste, the word is chaste. You don't have sex until you have your companion. And then you put all your energy into that and you forget about the ways of the world, okay? But most of you people out there, I know, I do not know who's listening to my channel, but I'm telling you, there is a lot of people out there that don't realize this life is important and you have things to accomplish and knowledge to gain. And one day, someday, you'll understand. And if you delve into the scriptures where it says, uh, knock and the door will be opened, seek and ye shall find. You have to do the seeking. You have to endeavor but there's a lot of stuff you can partake of. Learn, because the only thing you're taking with you when you die is what's in your brain, okay? Your uh, memories, your love, your knowledge, your knowledge for the future. But you're gonna be leaving everything else behind you. I don't know how sex is for all you people out there, you know, and then they also say men are different creatures than women. I think everybody acts the part of being happy with their lustful life. But I also think if you got right down to the core, they're sad. They're really sad people. And what they're doing is they're out seeking for love. They're seeking for their one even though it might be in the wrong place. Because we all need love. But you're missing the mark when you think you can just go out and willy-nilly, yes, that's the word. <laughs> you know, be out there just going crazy. Like the orgy, you know? And that's what was going on during Sodom and, G Sodom and Gomorrah's days, you know? Gay. Not just gay, but all out, just sex everywhere. You know, bisexual, all sexual, who cares? If it feels good, do it. Isn't that the way it is? I hope it's not like that these days. I know there's got to be some people that are not like that. But I'm telling you, that's where the world's gotten us. Lasciviousness. You know, and then I, I told a friend of mine that was gay. That I thought, you know what? And I know I was right. He just wanted to have sex, okay? He didn't care if it was a boy or a girl. But he wasn't in the uh, club of being admired, okay? So he couldn't find a partner unless he did the evil deal. And I'm gonna call it that. A little predator out there trying to have sex with every man around that'll let him. Well, he's dead now, okay? I really don't know for sure why it happened, but he probably, I cannot pronounce judgment. And then you know what? Who knows if he didn't commit suicide? Because I think they found him in a house where there might've been gas. A guy in Perryton, Texas said everybody knew something happened to him when he was a child with a man and that ruined him. So what did he do? He started doing the same damn thing to other people, you know? And then just getting involved, just like I said the other day with this, you know, you'd be happy and love. You got your family going on, you got a baby. And here's this fucking idiot coming into your life, causing havoc. And the next thing you know, you're a single mom, raising your child alone. You ain't got no money. Now in my situation, no, my husband was not gay. 
I'm just talking about in general. Because these days it doesn't matter if it's a male or a female. It doesn't matter if it's the opposite sex. People are going nuts. And I know you guys have all lots of things to say about that, but we all have something to say. And I'm telling you, Sodom and Gomorrah, God is real, okay? That community was burnt, turned to stone, burnt to smithereens. <laughs> the things that happen on the street. <laughs> anyway, I forget what I was talking about. It's good that I can get distracted so easy. It helps when you're mad, you forget that you're mad. I can remember doing that a lot. Oh, I'm mad at you. <laughs> forget all about it until you remember. No, but that's not the one. That was the last one. My last, my husband of the moment. We've been together, will be 17 years this month. I guess I ought to remember that. You know what? Huh. This coming up real soon. <laughs> it's hard to even remember. Last year, I mean, Facebook is the one that reminds me of birthdays and anniversaries and what would we do without Facebook? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm just out doing my walk. I'm trying to move and maybe regain some muscle because I'm, I don't have any muscle, I don't think. Very little. <laughs> I have some. I can tell because it hurts. <laughs> but I've been trying to walk. Well, I'm, I'm up to three miles a day, but it takes me three to four walks to get that much. So that tells you the shape I'm in. I have got to get better. I used to, when I was young, I used to go out dancing all the time. And I was in very good shape. Very, very, very good shape. Because I hurt myself on the job, uh, lifting a lot of weight. I was taking pal, let's see. There were boxes of records, not, not albums, but medical records per se, okay? That had to be purged. And so they were in a, they were on a pallet all stacked. So as I purged them, I had to take it off the stack and put it on the other stack, make a stack. So I was lifting weight all day long. I did not realize what I was doing to myself. The next day I went to get out of bed. <laughs> my, uh, my tissues had all glued together, I guess with bruises from me straining my muscles. But when I went to the doctor and told them what I had done, they wanted to know what I had been doing to stay in that good a shape because I should have never been able to do what I did, okay? But I should pay for that. You live and you learn. That guy told me, now don't hurt yourself. <laughs> but they don't tell you what you're going to do to hurt yourself. Anyway, I probably should get off here. I'm going to probably stop here in a second. At least talking to you guys, I have been able to be distracted and I've walked a lot further. I know I have, but I think I better stop. Maybe I'll come out one more time before I go to bed. But anyway, <laughs> everything is beautiful in its own way. Now is that everybody is beautiful? I said everything. I think I'll walk one more time so I can sing some more. You know, I'm not the only one who sings when they're happy. I've noticed it over the years with my dad. I wasn't around. And when I came around, he'd be singing. He'd be singing, just making up words and singing songs, just like a kid. Drove my mother crazy. But I understood what was going on. He was happy. He was happy. I put him in his happy place, okay? But I've been gone a long time, you know. I'd come and visit when I could. But when you don't have money, and then you got all these animals that need you. That was the stupidest thing. I've done a few stupid things. I've done a lot of stupid things. 
like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars feeding animals instead of feeding myself. But, and then gave them away at the end, you know? Couldn't afford to keep feeding them. Hay went up so sky high. I'm amazed that I was able to do what I did. But I'd be rich if I didn't have to worry about all that. But that's uh, hay and the cows. <laughs> Grain and the cows and the goats and dog food. I mean, all kinds of animals. Chickens, too. I know chickens don't eat all that much, but chickens were a blessing. We let chickens out. Of course, they didn't live. Didn't really understand that about the predators and stuff. But the chickens will eat all kinds of things. They eat bugs. They eat ticks. They just, and they're carnivores. I never knew that. Throw out a mice. Sounds terrible, a mouse. But that's, they, that was a delicacy for them. So it was a way to feed the chickens and get rid of the mice. Sounds kind of gross, don't it? Anyway, you know what, I'm gonna stop. I'm in front of dad's house now. I made it one more lap. Anyway, let's see, where am I at? 2120. Well, at least you can still see me. <laughs> and I do need to go rest. So, it was nice visiting. I think I still will put this online. <laughs> Gotta have something happy. Because I know I'm getting a lot of stuff that isn't so happy. But, they're important. Yeah. Ah. All right. Thank you, guys. I hope you listened. <laughs> Have a happy, happy, joyful day, evening, whatever time you've got it, okay? <laughs>